And he comes up and gives me a big embrace. And I just got tightened up. I didn't know who he was. A Marine guy, and they're all loaded with guns and stuff. And I kind of tightened up and he says, Father, you don't remember me? And I looked at his name, Jaljali, which is a Muslim name. He said, Father, I was one of the high school boys in Siasi when you were there. It was my wife now, it was one of the girls lying down in front of the, the airplane. And I was with the guys holding the wings of the airplane so it wouldn't take off. And then his companions, Marines, they're all Christian Marines from um, Ilocanos from the north. They're big guys. Well, they're a little bit surprised. Their leader, their commanding officer, is a Muslim. And here he is embracing this priest. And they were really looking you know, surprised. He turns to them and he said, if it's not for this guy, I will be on the other side shooting you guys. <laughs> he used to duk, duk, uh, hit me on the hit me on the head. I never did that. It made a good story, but he said he would always hit me on the head and discipline me. And anyway, he come to tell me, "Be careful, Father, when you," because I had many chapels in the mountains around there that you visit sometimes monthly. And some some of them you only get there once or twice a year. But he said, "Be careful in that area, Father." There's rebel Muslims up there. It's dangerous for you to go there. It'd be better if you get a Filipino priest so that you don't, they don't see your white face there in that area. He was telling me, be careful.